your way is to stay inside as the awareness. First notice what awareness is, that it is always here. It is the ground of your being. It is not an identity, it is not a woman, it has no religion, it has no practices, it does not have an address. It is simply always here. Without awareness, nothing else can manifest. That is the power of awareness. Without awareness, hmm, nothing can manifest. Even the mind and the liquid consciousness cannot manifest, because all of them take their birth from that basic awareness itself. You have to come bring your attention to the awareness itself. We are not talking about distances here. There is no real distance. Hmm? It is just a distance maybe of subtlety. The awareness, very few people, when you say I, hmm, it denotes consciousness, but almost always we are taking I to be a person. So it is called the corruption of I. I, when you say I, it means consciousness. I consciousness am. I am. I consciousness am. That is what it means. And it is not a belief, it is actually, you may say, a state of being. If you keep the sense, the natural sense, I am, just the natural way in which you know you are, the untaught way of being, the sense I am. If you stay only with the sense I am, without allowing it to connect up or create relationship with any thought or any activity, just be aware only of the I am. Even if you sit for five minutes or seven minutes, just holding the sense I am, staying in the sense I am. In the beginning, a lot of things will try and take your attention into some place, but you stick with it, be persistent, and gradually you'll find that the space and the joy and the light of being is prevailing against all the, the seeming distractions of the mind. This is one of the most simple exercises and the most effective. Hmm? When you do this, then you will see what your mind is and what you are not. Just this thing. The feeling, I or I am. Hmm? It is called the godly presence within each form. But nobody seemed to know that, because it gets converted into the mode of a person. When you say I, you think you are talking. I am I, I as a woman. I am a student. I am a mother. I am a father. I am a doctor. I am this. I am that. But I am is none of that. I am is only I am. I, existence, am. That's it. Try and feel this natural sense in you. Huh? There is no attitude. There is no arrogance. There is no pride. There is just that sense. And it is natural, because it is already here. It is not something you have to create, you do not have to um, build it up. It is just here. It is already perfect, the sense I am. And you will recognise its perfectness if you do not co-join it with any other thought, or any philosophy, or any thinking, or any religion. Just isolate the sense I am. It is there. And let it stay by itself. As I said before, in the beginning, forces will seem to come to try and combine the I am with some mission. And you will feel that, but don't give up. Because if you give up, you only go back again to the I me person. So this is what I call winning yourself back. You see? Stay just with the feeling I am. Don't try to define it or decorate it or create any kind of focus pocus around it. It is just a natural sense of being. Stay with this being, consciously. Sometimes you try it and you find yourself going to sleep, like this. Do not believe that sleep, it is a kind of avoidance also from your mind. Just like this you do it. Hmm? And gradually you start to feel the power of being. A subtle vibration is felt, and it's a very sweet vibration. Hmm? Don't identify even with this vibration. 
just stay in that I amness, I am sense. Just be. Don't add anything to it. Don't subtract anything from it. Just be with the sense I am consciously. Maybe after the first few attempts, you may feel tired, <sighs> like wow, that was such an effort. But continue, and it will become increasingly effortless. And then you find that if you spend a conscious five or seven minutes in I am, it gives you five hours back of pure grace. You're in the state of presence, and it's nothing strange to you. It's every, you need no tools for it. Hmm? It is its own tool. Just the feeling, I am. You stay with that, move in that, and then you can give your reports back. Okay, yesterday I made an attempt to do it. Some people say I tried it for two hours. Some people I tried it for two days of just being. And sometimes my mind goes back, and sometimes the mind gets very noisy. But I didn't give too much attention to that. <coughs> Don't be thinking that you failed. Each time you find that you're in a distracted state, bring it back again to the I am, and just be in the I am. After a while, maybe you stop looking at the clock. Just move in that, because once you get familiar with the isolated state of being, of just being in a sense I am, don't listen to the mind. The mind will say, "Look, you know, you're 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 just wasting your time. You're doing nothing. You get nothing out of this practice." Don't listen to that. That's the attack. And why will your mind attack you? Because you're onto something. This is where the mind will attack you. You see. So you stay with it, and you'll find that gradually, that this uh, very quickly, in fact, before you go home. You will feel this, 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 this space in yourself. Stay with it. Those of you who feel to 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 continue with that, do. Others, you come, you say, okay. I said, you said, now I'm going home on Tuesday. I say, what is today? Sunday, Monday, two two days. You have plenty of time for freedom. Hmm? Plenty of time. Hmm? Then I ask you something else, even easier than what I've told you. Hmm? The I am practice is quite simple. Very anyone can do it. Children can do it. Anybody, and it will become a joy. Every time you do it, more joy. At first, a lot of trouble, headache. Oh, everything is. Oh my God, I can't do it. It's too much. And I say, I'm only asking you to be yourself. <laughs> Just the feeling I am. And look how much trouble come which means how many things are involved in your life that you cannot simply stay as the sense I am. So many associations are trying to bring you out into the bush, carry you out into the market. People start to telephone you. People start to do like, oh my God, it's like the whole world is against me being I am. That you stay with it. And that's very easy. I'm going to show you something easier than this. What in you does not require any effort? Make no effort, even to be, even to be I am. Hmm? Even to be I am, just as you are here. Leave your mind. Let your mind go for a walk or a stay. What doesn't matter. Hmm? What takes no effort? What takes no time? Hmm? What takes no effort? What takes no time? Go to that place in you. Is there any place in you that is not trying to be? It is not pretending anything at all. It does not have to practice anything at all. The mind has a lot to say about that. Oh, it is just some psychological practice, some little exercise. No. Forget about it. What takes no effort in you? Go there. Just only bring your attention to it. That will take a little effort, if you want.
Your mind is trying to get there first. Okay? Your mind is trying to get there first. So when you turn your attention, the mind goes, Hello, I'm here. No effort. Look, no effort. Look, look, no effort. Hmm? And you know him. You say, No, it's not even that. Not even that. If I point you to what is no effort, something wants to make an effort to be no effort. Are you aware? Even to say, we are so habituated to effort, that if I say, be in this place which is no effort, something goes to try and be no effort, to do no efforting. So that you must see and say, it's not that actually. You don't need imagination also. Why am I saying this? Because your true self requires no effort. It takes a lot of effort to be a person. It takes no effort to be yourself. You must know this. It takes a lot of effort. It's only because you are so used to it that it feels natural now. It takes memory to keep remembering how you were and how you, you, how you are. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of psychological effort, and physical effort. This is why when we are amongst people, after you leave you feel drained and tired. Why? Because you are efforting. You are efforting to keep looking worthy, to keep looking important, to keep looking interesting, to keep looking knowledgeable, to keep looking desirable. You see? So when everybody, when you go home, wow, oh my God! When is my next appointment with life? Oh God, I can't. It's too much. Hmm? And therefore, some people, when they get up in the morning, they see the sun. They go, oh no, not another day. I don't want to. I don't want to effort anymore. So here, I'm telling you, what is no effort? At least uh, notice this in you. You give attention to everything else which requires effort. Give a little attention to that which requires no effort. <coughs> and then you are coming into the realm of isness, of beingness. It simply is. When your attention recognizes and is one with your isness, all your life flowers. All your life blooms, becomes radiant. And you can start proving it from now. <laughs>